let's uh, see, let's have a look at these important definitions. So, uh, a walk, walks, trails, paths, and cycles. Just to remind you, so we've seen some of them, but this is, you know, uh, a neat, def uh, neat definitions for uh, these uh, different um, entities, like, uh, like carriers of information on a graph. So, what is a walk? A walk is a sequence of edges that an entity can walk along, okay, in a continuous manner without having to ever jump from one node to another node, so which means like you, in a connected way, so simple, and thereby, uh, so basically you cannot, you're not, you're not allowed to break the, the sequence, so the sequence should be continuous. So an important thing about a walk is that you can visit the same nodes or edges more than once, okay, so keep that in mind. Now, for a trail, a trail is a walk where all edges are unique. So you cannot visit the same edge twice when you have a trail, okay? So you can visit a node twice, okay, but not an edge. So this is the definition of a trail. Now, a path is a trail in which all edges and nodes are unique, okay? So here it means that it's a special trail where you... Uh, your, the nodes also are visited only once. Now, a cycle is, we can look at it as a closed walk, because for in a walk you can visit nodes and edges multiple times, so it's a closed walk where first and last nodes are the same. So basically, uh, a cycle, uh, we can also say, a cycle can be embedded within a larger walk. So if you have a walk, a walk can have multiple cycles, okay? Now, if we look at this, what is the relationship that we have here? So what is the relationship that we have here? So we have paths, trails, and walks. If you want to say which one belongs to which one, how can we, uh, what is, uh, how can we put this? So basically, paths is a subset of trails, and trails subset of walks, and cycles also subset of uh, walks, okay? Great, so now let's look at these examples. So you guys tell me, uh, which one is a walk, trail, and a path? So you have different uh, uh, different uh, sequences here. I'm going to give you a minute, and you tell me each of those sequences. You trace them, and you tell me whether they are like a path, a trail, uh, a walk, or a cycle. Okay? Okay, so the first one is, so A, B, this one, it's a, it's a walk, okay, yeah, it has a cycle, so this one is a cycle, okay, so it is a walk, because we have visited edges multiple times, and we, we were allowed to visit edges multiple times, and we were out, allowed to visit nodes, you know, multiple times, okay, now for the second one, what is the second one, this one? It is a trail. So a trail, uh, we can visit um, edges only once, but we are allowed to visit nodes twice. And here you guys can see that we visited node B twice, okay? So right here and right there, okay? Now, what about the last one? It's quite easy. So this is actually a path, okay? Each is visited only once. Now, uh, an important remark to keep in mind, because you might look at different textbooks, so in some of the literature, the word like basically path, the term is used to uh, also describe trails, walks, and uh, you know like sometimes cycles. So uh, in those textbooks, they usually call what we call path as simple. Okay, simple path. So simple path it means it's a path in which all nodes and edges are visited only once. Okay, so they are unique. Uh, but in this in our um, in this course, so we would. If we say path, it means like a simple path, okay? Great.